Hey guys, so now I'm going to talk a little bit more about this mysterious normal distribution I've mentioned a couple times before. So what I'm going to talk about now is the difference between a standard normal curve and a normal curve. So there is an infinite number of normal curves, but there is only one standard normal curve. First, let's talk about the properties of just a normal curve, which are the same properties for a standard normal curve. The first property we have is that the distribution is symmetric around the mean. The mean is in the middle and then the distribution is symmetric around that. So the distribution has one peak and it is bell shaped and all of that. So the second thing is that the mean is equal to the median which is equal to the mode which are all in the center of the distribution. And lastly the distribution is continuous which means that it has an infinitely long base. The tails along the baseline look deceptive because the curve approaches the horizontal axis without actually touching or crossing it. So the reason why there is an infinite number of normal curves is because it is determined by the mean and standard deviation. These are called parameters. So the mean is important because it determines where the curve stands on a number line. And then standard deviation is important because it tells us how spread out or how concentrated the curve is. And the notation for a normal curve is big N parentheses mu comma sigma, which means the big N means normal, normal curve, and then mu is the mean, and sigma is the standard deviation. So by now you've probably all been wondering what's so important about this normal curve and what is it used for? Well, normal distributions, also called density curves, help us predict, and density curves are just smooth curves that perfectly model a graph like a histogram. Let's say that this graph this normal distribution right here probably could have been a histogram with like the bars here and then and then this graph just like perfectly showed you know its shape anyway they help us approximate distributions of many different measurements they also help describe the results of various sampling procedures so basically they help us find the proportion of data values that fall within a range